Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, it's going to discuss a new library, LabFuse, file system in user space. In computing, a file system is a method and the data structure that the operating system uses to control how data is stored and retrieved. There are many academy terminology to define, explain, and specify file system. In short word, file system is an operating system manager how to store and retrieve your data using storage device. There are many types of storage devices like a disk drive, optical device, tape, USB, SSD, and RAM devices. It is one of very important part of operating system. In general, a file system usually consists of two or three layers. First is a logical file system. Logical file system is responsible for interact with user applications. Second layer is a virtual file system layer. This is an optional layer. A third layer is a physical file system layer. This layer is concerned with the physical operation of a storage device like a disk drive. File system in user space. Fuse is a software interface for Unix and Unix-like computer operating system that let no privileged user create their own file system without editing kernel code. In general, file system operation usually requires super user privilege. For example, mount a mount disk, partition disk, handle logical volume, you have to log on as a super user like a root. LabFuse is able to let no privileged user to handle such file system operation. It is a bridge between API level and the kernel levels. FUSE particularly useful for writing virtual file system API. Since more and more virtual machine and cloud storage introduced and used in computer system, virtual file system application will be more and more useful and the FUSE became more and more popular recently. Lab FUSE is particularly useful for writing virtual file system API. A virtual file system VFS is an abstract layer on top of a more concrete file system. The purpose of VFS is allow client application to access different type of concrete file system in a uniform way. A AFS can, for example, be used to access local and network storage, include cloud storage devices transparently without client application noticing the difference. Here is a typical LabFuse application architect. When client API requests a fuse file system operation, the request will be sent to the VFS layer, and from FS layer, it goes through LabFuse API and return back to the client API level. So client application will notice any difference. Here is our Linux. First of all, we are going to install LabFuse on our Linux. Our platform is Yupton Linux 22.34.3. On Yupton and Debian platform, LabFuse can be installed through APT repository. Before we install new software, we have to do the update. And upgrade. Second step, install FUSE. 
and labfu dev. We also have to install labfu three dev. To check the installation, first check header file. This is all the header file for FU's library. And this is our library, labfu's and labfu's3. After that, we are going to check the API. This is the version of a F user. F user mount is 2.9.9, which our library is 2.99. Now we are ready to write our first program using lab F use. Here on Linux, we create a program named myfuse.cpp. The usage will be the program name and the option of mount point. So here in the main function, if argc less than 2, we will show the usage and the return with Xcode once. After validate command line argument, we can start write our labfuse program. The pattern for labfuse program, first we have to include the header file fuse.h. Here we have include the header file fuse.h and the second we initialize the argument using structure fuse args. This macro was defined in the header file fuse.h. Step 3 declare the structure fuse operation. This structure will be used in the fuse main functions. This structure defines the file system operations. All the operations will be optional, so here we not declare any option and continue. Step 4 execute fuse main. Function fuseman is defined in the header file fuse.h. Fuseman is the main function of fuse. This is all that has to be called from the main functions. This function is going to have one, two, three, four parameter. A return code is an integer. First parameter is argument count. Second parameter is a vector of argument. And the third parameter is the pointer of fuse operation. And the next one is the user date. Back to our program. So the, we call this function return code equal. First parameter argument count. Second parameter is ARGV, and the third parameter is the pointer of FUS operation. IFUS upper, and uh, next is user date, which we don't have. We just uh, done. After that, free argument object we allocated. Then returns return code. This is basic basic FUSE API. Now we save our program. To compile our program, we have to include the library FUSE and the library FUSE 3. So we make my FUSE. Now program has been compiled. This is our API. Usage is a program name and option of mount point. You can see fuse library is 2.9.9 and the fuse mount version is 2.9.9 and using fuse kernel interface version is 7.19. 
Here is the help information from the lab I've used. In order to test our LabFU's API to mount a file system, we using two terminals. Bottom terminal create a mount point. My FU's FS under TMP FU's directory. This is uh, our mount point. Top terminal we just mount this. My FU's. This mount terminal, we use a debug model to demonstrate how this library works. First, when we mount this uh, mount point, it will start the operation called init. Then we source to our temple directory, ls l You can see, after we mounted this uh, file system and all the attribute, permission, UID, GID, number of links, size, and uh, timing is a question mark because we did not implement any operation and uh, when we're doing the LS, this uh, gate ATTR operation will be invoked but uh, we didn't uh, implement it. so every attribute is a question mark. So now we go back, rewrite our program, add the operation init and gate ATTR, assign the attribute Permission, UID, size. AVI, this program. And here we are going to implement init and get ATTR operation. Function is defined in a header file. This is the declaration of a gate ATTR. We copy this, we go back to our program. They have to be static and the name I have used gate ATTR. In this uh, function, there's uh, two parameters. First is the path, second is the uh, status. This function return type is the integer. And uh, we try to print the information so we can see this function has been invoked. So we just uh, and then we are going to set attribute in the status structure. Remember set status buffer, which is a hard code, our status buffer, ST model. 0755 is a classical directory attribute permission for owner, read, write, and executable. For others and the group is read and executable. We just hard coding, write number one size 2048 here we just uh, assign the hard code number uid we using the function gate uid group id and uh, appending or modify time time and the return are yes. For the init operation, here is the init operation. We copy this from here. We go back and we paste here. So first we rename this my I've used init parameter for the connection and uh, here for the demo we don't have any logic to apply when the file system have been initiated so we just uh, rewind and return now 
after we create two operation so we can Im implement first equal now we save our program compile our program now program has been recompiled so we back to the two terminal and our directory mount point my fus fs before the mount permission is a drw rwx rx number of link is two owner is my login group is my login size is 4096 and november 19 2257 now we try to mount this First, we can see when we started, this uh, init operation has been invoked. We printed the message, my FUS init has been invoked. In the real project, if you have a special logic will be applied to the init, you can apply in these functions. Now let's RS manual. You can see our git attribute of operation has been invoked. Path is a root and uh, this uh, directory the attribute permission is a 755 755 means for the owner rwx for the group is rx for the others is rx number of link is one owner is my login and the group is my group size 2048 and this is the time we mounted here in our demo, we just uh, implement two simple operation init and the gate attribute. In real project, there will be more complicated and uh, you can apply other operations like a read directory, read file, open file. This is all defined in the fuse.h. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks for watching my video which it's useful and it's going to be great to have your feedback.